Okay, I'm going to show you how to replace a broken LCD screen on a Samsung laptop model MP365E5C. I think it's commonly referred to as the MP365 series. Anyway, I've already taken this laptop apart once. It's really very simple. I've got most of this apart with my thumbnail. There's a joint with the plastic there's a seam at the top, and I just took my thumbnail and got started. Release it at the top. You may first, though, on this particular model, there are two screws at the bottom of the display. There's uh, little plastic covers over the screws. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right here, but just take a screwdriver, or something, and pry the little plastic cover off, and there are two screws, one on each side, one there and one over here. Just remove those and then this outer bezel I guess. You can take a small screwdriver and just ball it around the edges. And pop it on off. It just snaps on. It's no big deal. Okay on both sides. Okay. And that just comes off. Lay that to the side. Now there's only uh, six screw, eight screws that you need to take out. There are two screws, one on each side of the top. You'll need to remove those. And then on each side of the screen there are three screws. One, two, three over here. And one, two, three on the other side. You do not need to remove any of the screws on the bottom. And the only reason to remove these two at the very top is so you can pull the screen out a little bit and get to the screws on the side. Uh, the, the top of the, the cover obscures them a little bit. I have one screw left on this side. I will take it out. Okay. Then you simply... Now in this model, there was a there's a camera, so there's a little connector at the top. There's a little plastic tab. You can't see it in the video, but you may be able to grab a little plastic tab. I think I just uh, gently pulled the LCD screen out a bit and gently pulled pulled that wire out. There are two connectors: the, top, the connector at the top and the connector at the bottom. And these ribbons had a little uh, drop of adhesive or something. I simply just pull those up and I pull this up and just simply gently wiggle and remove the connector and here's the old broken LCD. Pretty easy really. So we'll put that to the side. Here is the new LCD, and I don't remember the company now, but it'll be in the description of this video when I upload it to YouTube. So, place it in the same orientation as the other one. Now, there's a piece of plastic on this particular board. It looks like it covers up the connector, the bottom connector, but there's actually a small gap in the plastic. You don't remove this piece of plastic that is at the bottom of the new board. So I'm going to see if I can make this connector, this connection again. And I've been told that you should feel it click into place. Okay, just make note, when you remove this connector from the old LCD screen, just look at it very carefully and, and to see how the connectors go together. It's really not that difficult uh, once you understand. Just It's small and hard to see. So just look at it closely before you re remove it from the old LCD and then you shouldn't have any problem putting it into the new one. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the adhesive that was... Um, used before I think it will be fine for for my use so place this right back and and there were, you'll note there were no power connections all the power appears to come from that one connector 
and this, as I said, is the connector for the camera at the top of the screen. So, and let's see if I can get this guy back in here. He's a little larger than the other. I got the connector for the camera back. Now you just put it, uh, assemble it in reverse order. You put the three screws in on the three screws on the side here, three screws on the other side. Put the two screws in on the top. Put the bezel. Put this guy back on, and then the two screws, one on each side of the bottom. But before I do that, I'm going to power it up and see what I have. And I got nothing. So, here is the LCD screen working. I had to reset the connector. I don't know if I had it in crooked or, or what, but the first time I fired it up, the LCD did not come on. So, I simply took it back apart, and the large connector at the bottom, I simply pulled it out and reseated it again, making sure that I got it firmly in place. Fired up the laptop and it worked that time. So it's really not that big a deal. It's a little scary, but it's really not that difficult. Just take your time. The main thing is to look at the connectors before you remove them so you understand how they connect. They're very, very small. So it's, it's important to look at them before you unplug it so you understand how to put it back. Anyway, so it's fixed. Good luck.